It is a great honor to be awarded the 2020 Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water Management and Protection. I'm very thankful. I thank King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud for being the patron of the award ceremony and his representative for attending the event. I greatly appreciate His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz founding this prize and his son, Prince Khalid bin Sultan, continued support for the prize. I thank the jury, prize council, and general secretary for this event and for recognizing this work. Many students and colleagues around the globe have put so much into this work over several decades and continue with this work. In the end, it is hard to know which ideas came from whom, but clearly this work would not have been as good or as useful without many students, collaborators, colleagues, and support from taxpayers. This prize rests on many contributions. I also thank my wife, my family, my children, and parents for making my efforts possible. People need water, safe water on time and not too much of it. This makes effective water management fundamental for all societies at any time in history and in any place. Water is so fundamental that all aspects of any society are reflected in how they manage and use water. Problems in water management also reflect broader societal problems. It is no coincidence that societies that manage water problems well tend to be successful more broadly. Good water management is both a cause and effect of a successful society. Water management supports four fundamental and mutually reinforcing objectives for any society, public health, economic prosperity, ecosystems, and social order. Public health is the most important single objective where we have been historically successful globally as seen in mortality statistics, although we still have far to go. Most water management is for economic purposes, such as irrigating crops, flood protection, navigation, hydropower, property values, industries, and commercial enterprises. Economic prosperity motivates most individuals and groups involved in water management and use and supports any society's ability to achieve other societal objectives. As with all real problems, water problems are not the exclusive province of any single discipline. Hydroeconomic modeling formally combines representations of water and economics for understanding and improving water management. Among scholars, it bridges traditional physical and social sciences, particularly economics, engineering, and hydrology, and benefits from the common historical and intellectual origins of these disciplines. Hydroeconomic modeling forces a more explicit mathematical understanding of how environmental and human systems work together and can provide insights on how they can work better. Calvin is a hydroeconomic model of California's extensively interconnected water supply system with its diverse portfolio of water supply and demand management options in a hydrologically and economically dynamic region. This model has been orienting and insightful for a wide range of water supply problems and an educational experience for scholars and managers globally. This modeling forced us to learn, appreciate, and integrate diverse economic, engineering, hydrologic, and policy knowledge in the context of a variety of urgent, persistent, and overlapping water management problems for California. These experiences have shaped and informed scholars now applying these ideas globally and shaped many studies that have helped shape water policies in California on water markets, infrastructure development, groundwater, environmental restoration, water conflicts, and regional and interregional water management generally. Modeling is always imperfect, but provides a disciplined framework for integrating understanding of problems and exploring solutions. Such integration is hard work, somewhat facilitated by faster computers and the widespread acceptance of modeling in government agencies and academic fields, but still requires both high level and detailed oriented thinking. This integrated approach has many scholarly and practical benefits and continuing promise for local, regional, and global water problems as they evolve. 
The hardest modeling problem for the future is, as always, human. How can an organization of decision-making and academic disciplines and practice be modified to better absorb and employ insights for more advanced integrated representations of human knowledge, such as hydroeconomic modeling? The study of water management, the insights of hydroeconomic modeling, and the many people I've worked with on this subject have been a tremendous source of insight, joy, and fun in my life. I'm tremendously happy and gratified that others have found this work useful. I thank you all who have established and continue this prize for honoring our work with it. I am very grateful.